Hi, this is Mike Peterson again, back for Steamtastic Fridays with Challenge Island, Oakland County East. Today we're going to focus on the T of steam and talk a little bit about technology. Except in terms of talking about modern technology, we're going to go back about 450 years to the year 1593 in China. So back in those days, they were still working out how to do things like addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. So they created a special tool in China to help with that, which is called the abacus. So most of you have probably seen an abacus before, but not too many people are familiar with how to use those anymore these days. So today we'll talk through just a little bit about how an abacus works so that you can um, start doing one yourself, and then we'll show you how to create one as well. All right, so here's our classic Chinese abacus. So just to orient you a little bit here, so, so we've got ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. So we can make as big a number as we want by putting the, the beads in the right place here. So the beads we're gonna count are the ones that are touching our center bar here. So we've got beads we can bring down from what we call the heaven part of the abacus and beads we can bring up from the earth part. So if we wanted to create the number one, we'd bring a one bead up from the earth, two, three, four, for five, we can have five beads from here, or we can go up to heaven and pull a five bead down. So that would be five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then to do 10, we can either have 10 here, or since this is our 10 space, we can clean that out and put one up here in our 10 section. So that's how we can move our numbers back and forth there. So let's try an example of addition with our abacus just to show quickly how this works. So let's say we wanted to add 347 plus 526. So first we would load in our first number. So three, four, and then for seven, we would have five plus two, since we don't have seven beads to use down here. Then to add in our second number, a fun thing with an abacus is we can go from left to right or right to left. So we'll try going left to right so we can do it just like we read the numbers. So five, we can bring a five B down. Two, okay, so now we can do five minus three makes two, and then add six. So five plus one, but we got too many beads now here. So let's clean out that 10 and add one here instead. So if we read across, now we have 873. And if you check that, that should be the right answer. So that's how we would add with an abacus. And we can subtract and multiply and divide as well. So for our last part, I'd just like to show you, you can actually build your own abacus if you'd like to try that. So there's lots of ways to do it. So one way you can do it, uh, if you can find just a few smoothie straws or any, any big kind of straw, even a stick would work. Uh, some smaller straws. So these are uh, coffee stirring kinds of straws. A couple more sticks might come in handy. And then of course you need the beads. So just any craft beads from a craft store will work just fine. And I'll let you see the final product here just to save a little time. So here's a way you could do that. So, so the, the straws could be your, your big bars across the middle. Use your smaller straws to hold your beads. And then make sure each straw has seven beads on it before you start taping everything together. So you'll need two beads on the top up in heaven and five beads down at the bottom. And remember, like we showed on the original abacus, color doesn't matter. So if you wanna line them up by color like we did, you can do that. Or if you want it to be all different colors, go ahead and do that. So feel free to try making your own abacus and then see if you can do some adding and subtracting on there with uh, the rest of your summer. All right, thank you very much for coming today. We look forward to seeing you again next week.